Hi, and welcome back to It Figures. Tonight, I will be reviewing Supergirl from the TV series Supergirl. So as of right now, Supergirl is my favorite superhero show on TV, only next to The Flash. And when I saw this in the store, I grabbed it. And I'm actually glad I did because I have never seen this at the store again. On the back of the package, it shows uh, Batman and the Robin and Lex Luthor and a bunch of other characters from the DC multiverse. And I do see those on occasion at the store, but I have never seen Supergirl again. And if you collect all of those characters, you do get the new 52 Doomsday character. Now, if you watch my channel, you know that I did the review for The Flash, Deathstroke, and Arrow, and all of those were made by DC Direct. This one, however, is made by Mattel. I would really love to see a DC Direct figure, but that's okay because this is about the closest thing we will probably get. So, let's go ahead and open up Supergirl and see what she looks like. So right out of the box, my first impressions are that she's not as well made as the DC Direct figures. She's a little bit more flimsy, I guess you can say, than the DC Direct figures. This seems more like a figure you would play with rather than display, which is fine. Let's take a look at the likeness of the character from the TV show. And I don't think they really captured the look of her from the TV show. I mean, if you showed this to me, I would probably say, oh yeah, well, that's Supergirl, just because of, you know, Supergirl. Her face is a little bit there. I guess you can say it's a little softly sculpted. It's not as highly detailed as some of the other figures. Her hair is an odd color. It's more brownish, mud-colored blonde than actual blonde. As for the details on the suit, they got the S really well sculpted, very well painted as well. As you can see, the bright gold and red lettering on the chest is really nice. As for the rest of the outfit, you know, it's not terrible, but again, it's a very soft sculpt. There's not a whole lot of detail anywhere. Even her skirt isn't that well detailed, and it has two big slits here, I guess, you know, just so... Her legs can move up and down, which is kind of odd. The cape itself isn't that bad, actually. It's pretty well sculpted, and it's made out of soft rubber. As for articulation, she has a ball-jointed shoulder, and I couldn't really get her elbows to bend. It took some effort to finally get this to bend, so if you get this figure, be careful. You don't want to break the elbows off. But it took a little while for it, it to like break to where it uh, would actually bend. And I'm not a really big fan of mid uh, articulation in the stomach here because it just looks really odd to me, but um, it does bend. And if you look closely, you can see two marks here, which I didn't cause. It was like that in the package to where if it was bent, it'll uh, damage the figure. Both of her legs are articulated and pretty loose actually too. Knees bend. As you can see here, there's some actual plastic coming out of her kneecaps. And her feet also bend, which I don't really want to bend too much because again, like the elbows, it's very stiff and don't want to break it. She's a little hard to stand on her own too. You gotta really position her so she doesn't fall over. Like I said, with Supergirl being one of my favorite, or probably my favorite superhero show on right now, I would have really liked to see them do something much more of a high quality here. It's nice to have a figure from the TV show, I just wish it was a little bit better. And let's not forget the one accessory that she does come with, and that's Doomsday's leg. So like I said, if you collect all of these figures, then you can create the new Doomsday, and from the size of his leg, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty gigantic figure. All right, so let's bring up the old figgle meter and see how Supergirl stacks up. In all, it's not a terrible figure. The articulation is a little loose in some places. The paint is actually pretty decent everywhere, and just there's not a whole lot of detail here. I guess I've been a little bit spoiled with the DC Direct figures because they've been so spectacular. And this one is just kind of mediocre. 
However, since I love the show so much, it is fun to actually own the figure from the TV show. So in all, I would give Supergirl a 3 out of 5. So I hope you liked tonight's episode of It Figures. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button so I can see you next time. I guess maybe I've been spoiled by the DC Direct figures because they've been so incredible. And let's hope that... <laughs>